This is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, passing may be at a premium, at least for one side. The Raiders are top 10 at defending the pass, and they'll be going up against the Colts, who will need to solve that secondary. With that, let's get you out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. They've got the call of this Week 9 matchup. Larry, apart from a 13-year gap in L.A., we are at the home of the Raiders since 1966. But how much longer will they be playing football in Oakland, California? Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Oakland Raiders. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. Leading the surge there, he drops him for a loss of six. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Looking to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Give him three on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. And here's a look at the starting offense. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Let's go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. And that is incomplete. And how about this wide receiving core, Charles? Well, I was at the hotel watching a little film, and you popped your head in and said, these receivers are pretty good from what I can tell. You're exactly right. Can't wait to see them do their thing out on the field. So second and ten here. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Time to meet the defensive starters for the Oakland Raiders. And you want to discuss one of their safeties. I certainly do. Carl Joseph out of West Virginia always did a great job policing the middle of the field. A big hitter knocked the ball away. 
but really added to his game as last year as a Mountaineer. Became a better cover guy and a better ball hawk before he got injured. They're really going to love him in Oakland. Here's Locke. He's got the hook up here on the comebacker, complete. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. All right, say it with me now. There are a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty. Yep. Wiley. Oh. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> They'll give it to him right up the gut. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. They get just a yard back there, and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15. So they run it on second down. Now let's see what third down brings here for the offense. They'll fake it. Now Lump. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner, toughness in the pocket, strong and stout. But let's face it, the money, that comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston that he goes to Stanford. He's got it all. Give him credit for batting it away, but unable to come up with the interception. And sometimes that joke does come true. Guys are on defense for a reason. Maybe their hands aren't quite as skillful as the guys on offense, but a lot of credit on that play for just knocking it away. That is incomplete. Sometimes it looks pretty simple, batting the ball away, but oftentimes there's some pretty good teaching and practice that goes into it. Being able to get to the receiver, not interfere, and get his hands through the football and knock it away. Wow. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. second quarter and the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down now a play fake and it's locked oh he's got a man wide open complete a really nice gain of 20 and on the outside they're playing press coverage They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's able to find some room as they get him down after a good run. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? scrimmage is the three as they look to cash in on third and goal. Third and two, Locke. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. First down coming there on the intermediate passing play. That's been a point of emphasis, they told us in practice, using those medium routes to keep the defense off balance. It wasn't just them telling us. We got to watch them practice it and work on it because they've been trying to fine-tune it and get it right before this game. And I think they have to be happy with the result. Offense. And that right there will set him back a bit on the offensive holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? 
the guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. And incomplete. Crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. And this seemingly endless drive continues. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Here's Locke. That's caught at the three. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display, right? is in the red zone. It's a first and 10 situation at the 15-yard line. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have highlights and analysis of this first half. I'm guessing mostly defensive highlights that we will see. Yeah, and that's kind of cool. No touchdown scored yet so far. Yeah, none whatsoever. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times... That... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in... Coming up for this defensive unit. They're down, but just by a bit on the scoreboard. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? They'll give it to him right up the gut. Legs still churning. Like a giant pinball. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. It's an... And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their dangerous wide receiver. His fifth touchdown now on the year.
quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. As we drop you into the action, it's second down, second and five inside the red zone. Now it's Luck off the bootleg. This will be caught at about the three. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their big body receiver with his second TD of the game his sixth on the year and the Colts are able to grow their lead they were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late and now that lead even more comfortable and your first thought is is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge This offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Colts, the win means they'll finish the first half at a respectable 5-3 and three record. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they'll get a home date next week against the Kansas City Chiefs. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Oakland, we sign off. So long, everybody.